Oh. Hello. I'm driving my boat. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I ran into one of those. <laughs> what the hey? I'm starting a video and this is what happens to me. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm still playing Far Cry 6. I ran into one of those uh, mines they have in the water. Oh my goodness. Someone help me. All right, you got the one and only, and tonight's snack, actually it was Red Baron's Pizza, but I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a banana, just to show you, I'm going to have a banana, I ate the pizza too early. Sorry, it's like <clears throat> making a birthday cake and inviting all you guys over and then I'm eating it before we blow out the candles. <laughs> oh well, so is life. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? What do we got? It's been kind of rough, so I haven't been really hunting much. Hold on, let me put this into the map. In case they come and shoot me. <clears throat> and then I die again. Um, so, I got this at Wizards. Paid five bucks for it. Um, I don't know if I got the comic book or I had this again. Uh, it's one of those canvas ones. Yeah, I got State Farm Insurance. Uh, what's his name? So Silver Age Dave. He works for them. It's good insurance, but we need more free stuff. I only got that calendar and the cup. Can't have that. I need more. It is my birthday, June 28th. And I might put my address. If you want to send a birthday card, that's cool. If you don't, that's fine with me. If you want to send a bunch of snacks, and let me enjoy them that would be cool too but it's up to you because I'm a nice guy you know what I'm saying I give people opportunities or if you want to go out and get 300 more subscribers and then send a birthday card you might get a mystery box who knows um maybe I should have a contest like that uh I am going to get another mystery box down the road. I do have Mike Knight Tiger. I, got, I found his stuff somewhere. <laughs> now I lost it. Then I got Mike Helm from Georgia, a friend of mine. He just got married. Congratulations. Uh, here, let me look at... Why don't you just look at this while I'm talking. And I uh, do got Rogers few stuff for Roger <clears throat> but um, I do like to do those mystery boxes but like I say money has been short and everything but onto the snack that was it's Red Baron and those small pizzas and I had ice water but I found a coupon at the post office Kroger coupons I don't know if you guys if I can find them, I might do a little food thing next to show you where to save some money and where to get the stuff and here and there. Because I go different grocery stores. I don't go to Walmart and try to save because Walmart is not a saving place. You have to look for the deals. But I got the coupon from Kroger. And this gentleman had some... A free coupon. He just left it there. I grabbed it and he used it and got free peanut M&Ms. Rock and roll. Then I, I got a coupon of Simple Lemonade. I think that's Simply Lemonade or something like that. 
So it pays to go to Kroger once in a while. So if you want this for the snack, the Red Baron <laughs> that I already ate. <laughs> Alright, and I did pick up a few games. I did pick this. Still has a tag, 50 cents. A little Washington. I'm not sure how much really it's going for. It doesn't have a date in it either. That's what's surprising too. But I guess some of these things didn't have dates. So I'm not sure really where I could find, I guess Google and take a picture of it. So yeah, like 50 cents. Maybe I could turn around and sell five bucks. And I think I have something else free. I was at Wizards and Dustin gave me Seinfeld playing cards. <laughs> little tin can. Jokers. <laughs> I don't really play cards. Uh, the only thing that if I do play is like Uno. So. I'm not big cards. I get bored sometimes. I'm drinking my water. And then, Wizards, I picked this. 99 cents. And the date is 5-10-2016. Never. Well, this game is on the move. It goes around five to seven bucks. James said it was a pretty good game. It's complete. I changed the case, but I'm going to have to change it again. This was cracked. So, go to those retro stores, and you might keep catch them slipping some of them. Here's another retro store up uh, toward Lula, and I've caught him slipping too. So they don't check their dates all the time. Pick this up. It's, a, it's not really. Unless that's complete. I don't know. But uh movie for PSP. And I picked. What is that? I picked four DVDs. I don't know which one. I picked up. Let's go with the. I picked this one at. at paid a buck. I'm not gonna. You have to go through my. I've told people where to go. Because sometimes there's hidden stuff at this certain p place. I'll give you a hint. They do have vending machines. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but a lot of people miss this place. And I'm glad they do. I, I hit it like t maybe twice a month. I picked up this too. I never seen that. So we'll see what that's about. Then I picked up a Godzilla the series. I think this was a goodwill if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It could be at that hidden place. Just like this hidden place. Some people know where where it's at some people don't I keep a couple places hidden because why my city's a little smaller than Buford or Georgia I mean <laughs> Buford or uh, Norcross or Atlanta <clears throat> it's hard to find some games and this is the one I was talking about I have the book Beyond Enemy Lines pretty good movie it's crazy how things get in war. And I picked this. Actually, I picked this one up at that other place. Oh, and I picked this book up. Two. He's a he's a good. Vern Lundquist paid a buck for that. 
I'm not sure what it's really going for. I guess it's a little history of biography of him. No, there's the autograph in the book. He's a good announcer. Play by play. So, and then, awesome movie. They should make a remake for this, but I'm scared these days when they make a remake. Will it turn out to be good? Because so much junk is really being made. They're trying, but they're not succeeding. But it'd be interesting with all the technology now in the cinema movie world. Logan's Run. Fair Fawcett was in there. Okay. Keep the, la the last game. Picked up this one. I guess it's complete. What did I give? I think it was seven bucks for it. And this one. I heard it's supposed to be pretty good, but I might not like it. That someone said, or maybe it was that one. I don't know. Picked up this again because I got rid of it, but I didn't pay much. Hitman 2. I finished the first one on PS4. It's pretty good. Mortal Kombat. I didn't get I didn't pay much on this either. I sold some stuff and made a deal. And this one sometimes you I go in, I don't bring my phone. There's only one time I really brought my phone. Checked on a price. And that was a PlayStation game at Goodwill, but usually I don't take my phone in. I don't uh, look up uh, at the store or any garage sales or any yard sales. I do I more or less go to my instincts. Sometimes I do my research ahead of time and try to have a good memory. <laughs> uh, but this one, I paid seven bucks. And it's going for 25 to 30 bucks. Actually, she gave me a deal. These games go, I'm not going to tell you where, game 10 bucks, but she knocked three bucks off. So, rock and roll. So, not a bad find on that one. So, that's saying that. I ended up pick these at Wizards. They were like a buck. Toy value. Wild Wild West comic book. I Spy. Ah, oh, bring back memories. Is it Dick Tracy? No, that's not. It's Ella. No, it's 38 Special. Well, my, my bad. I thought that was Untouchables. Yeah, I remember that. I did find an Untouchables poster. That's funny. I'll show you another autograph poster. I don't know if I ever showed it or not. And I got this to go through. And I got another one. Some odds and ends. It's funny how we keep stuff. So I'll go I'll do a video on that. Because there's a marker. It's funny that I did not know I had from a franchise restaurant. So anyways, uh, DC Curds. 007. So, that'd be interesting. I got, and then this one. Indiana Jones. How cool. That's one I always liked Indiana Jones movies. Except the last one. I thought that was a little far fetched <laughs> toward the end. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you. There's some superpowers.
Return of the Fly. Remember that movie? <laughs> Space Ghost Villains. G.I. Joe. That's what I, I used to have. <laughs> Pulled the string and they talked. <laughs> oh, uh, I was going to take a video of, they, they have the big gym, and I couldn't remember, and it's like, hey, Dustin, what's this? But then it came to, one of the villains had a, in the big gym set, a silver hand that did a karate chop, or was he a villain? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. Jeez, it's been so long. I used to have the big gym camper. And a big gym. G.I. Joe. Old G.I. Joe. Oh. And a snake. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking a peek. Interesting. All right, and then people wondered, where do you have a Game Gear? Actually, my mother had a Game Gear. I got the Game Gear. She let me play with it, but I haven't played with it yet. So here's, still got the box, a little rough. Super columns. She used to like playing with columns. It's, it's kind of scratched up this screen, but it still works. So I thought I'd show that. I do have some other Game Gear games. One day I'll sit down and play with it. So I thought I'd show you that. There you go. So that's it. Not much. Like I say, it's been kind of rough, but I'll throw my address down. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little segment, and I'm gonna finish uh, Far Cry. Well, I'm not gonna finish it. I'm just gonna play. Just control. Enjoy life. Hang loose. Surfs up. And until we meet again, talk to you later. Bye.